slightly controversial take. I found myself rooting for Daniel Khalif. That's not controversial. That is, I think that's the most widely held opinion <laughs> over the weekend. Really? Oh my God, yeah. The man is suspected of... So I, he's, he's facing terrorism but, charges. But didn't, I think it's because we don't know what he was actually like. We don't know what those charges are. It was building a fake bomb. Okay, we know that one, but it was fake. It wasn't like no one was going to no one was going to die. He is accused, and I and, uh, understand he denies the charges. Um, he is accused of building a fake bomb to, I think, s- deliberately terrify someone. Okay. Yes, but like. So they, do we do we support? Do we support that? Do we support? I think that someone that possibly can be doing true. that. And people, people also think it's very funny that he escaped from prison. And it should, did you do you know what the thought, like the thought of him like, why was he a kitchen porter? Why was he allowed that freedom as a potential terrorist suspect? Like we were. So, <laughs> do you think he had like donuts on a string, like <laughs> throwing them in front of the prison guards, <laughs> reeling them around as the prison guards are like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And he bunks him over the head. <laughs> then he can't. But also, I think it's really endearing how shitty he was at getting away. <laughs> he made it about four miles. And it's always people talking about like, this man was a trained soldier and he's potentially been trained by a, by a rogue state, a foreign agent. I'm and sorry, he's... it's fucking Bush League to, to still be in London. But for my money, like the most heavily surveilled part of the country, <laughs> where the, the largest police force in the country is headquartered, yep. what am I going to do? I'm going to stay within four miles of the prison Tell I stay from. Iran can have him. <laughs> Iran can keep him. That's Iran. They've come to get him. <laughs> <laughs> They've come to get him. If that's, if that's who they're recruiting, <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> Look, surely, I mean, I have, I'm yet to have to evade capture by the police. But surely... Particularly if he does have the survival skills he's alleged he's alleged uh, to have, uh. which appear to have been like scumming around Richmond Park for a couple of days <laughs> b- before being caught in Chiswick, <laughs> like an idiot. I'm going to show you what he was doing. This is this is how good he was at hiding. Yeah. <laughs> That's the equivalent of what he was doing. Um, I. Surely, if you have if you have the survival skills you're alleged to have, you're like in the fucking you're in the bush, you're in the Scottish Highlands, you're fucking out of here. Surely, you just like leave. You don't stay in the the not even just London, S- like southwest London. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think you at least get to north? You think you go you north of the river? Forest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to go too far. <laughs> um, you. He couldn't get out, right? Because they, 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 were, they were high alert, right, on the ports and uh, the yeah. airports, etc., the fer- ferry ports. So, I guess your options are, if you are a spy, you hunker down, ideally further than four miles away <laughs> from the prison. <laughs> They'll never think that I'll stay so close. Yeah. Maybe that's what he was doing. Yeah. He's still attached to the fr- the van, the food van, going back into the prison and coming back oh, out again. No. <laughs> They'll never look for me here. Uh-huh. Um, I, correct me if I'm sure. I'm sure there's someone listening who knows more about this than we do. We should tell you what. It's, it's a great interview. We should interview those fucking. Um, what's that Channel Four show where they like escape? Where they tried to escape? hunted? Yeah, we should interview. Good. We should interview some of them about this. Also, they do so much better. Yeah, that's pretty damning, isn't it? Yeah. Like fucking Rob Beckett or someone. Oh, you get Ed Gamble. Spencer Matthews. Yeah. Sp- <laughs> and Jimmy Lang. <laughs> did better than Daniel Khalif. A man allegedly trained by the British Army. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and actually with a vested interest in escaping. I don't know. Maybe, <sighs> maybe he was just like, they'll fuck it. They'll, they'll find me when they find me. I'm going to hang out. Yeah, but also, why would you be bothered? But anyway, sorry, what I was going to say is Hostile State, whoever it is, yep. I believe he's. they suspect him of collecting information for Iran. Mm-hmm. I'm on the burner phone to my handler being like, get me a fucking fake passport right now. Yep. And then you hunker down for two days. You try and you wait, you wait till the heat dies down and then you're off to Heathrow, bang. Yep. Straight to Tehran, buddy. Yeah. Shave your head, maybe? 100%. That's like, an obvious one. Uh-huh. Eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> who's, this, who's this mental person with no eyebrows wandering around Chiswick? 
it's quite a bold, but I'd actually back it as a strategy is, is you know, um, making yourself face tattoo. You know, like <laughs> people, people are like looking at well, you. Daniel Cleave doesn't have a face tattoo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Face tattoo, maybe like, you know, um, you know, those huge piercings. Oh, yeah. People freaky, get like, like, like the bridge of their face. Oofed. One of those. Mm -hmm. You could probably get one through your chin. Mm -hmm. A big like ring through your chin. You, it's like hiding in plain sight. Yeah, become a goth. Pick it, yeah, become a goth, <laughs> then pick it the prism. Protest <laughs> outside, the, outside the prison. Free Daniel Khalifa. <laughs> Daniel Khalifa is innocent. <laughs> Why is this goth king so agitated about <laughs> Daniel Khalifa? <laughs> yeah, but I did want him to escape. Yeah, he's also sexy. We have to say that. Yeah. I think that's also why people like... You think that's why like people bought into it? Is that well, if, if, he's, if he's an ugly spying for Iran, that's bad news. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a catch him. You fucking, you, make, you get him off the streets in case I see him and you I'll be sick. Fucked it. Get, he's hanging. Get him off the streets. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's a spice. Uh, there's something quite alluring about the mugshot, isn't there? Do you remember when yeah. the, there was that guy, that American guy? Who, oh, the model. Yeah. Yes. With the sort of icy blue eyes. Yep. He was very alluring. Khalif, Rudy Giuliani. Yep. Trump. Trump. Trump's mugshot is sick. Nah. I think it's cool. I don't think it's in... It's cool because of what it symbolises. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a fucking former president of the United States. That's why it's cool. But the... It's, uh, for me, it's not in the same category of, you know, Sinatra, Hendrix, awesome. Elvis. You like, you like those people. Yeah, but they also look cool. Like, I Hendrix is Trump kind of, like, cool. unruffled, think, think, open who, collar. In a candid photo of Donald Trump, he looks dreadful. Mm. He looks good in that photo. But he just looks like a fucking bloke in a suit. Well, yeah, but he looks, that's way better than he usually does. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not trying to pass judgment. I'm not trying to make a comment about whether he, you know, if, you know, if it was part of the series of photos that Trump's wife had taken of him, it would be making it to the grid as the best of the lot. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm saying is as the aesthetic, the pose, the energy that he was portraying in the mugshot, not particularly cool. I think other people have done it better. Mm -hmm. Like Lohan. Yep. Lindsay Lohan's mugshot, mm -hmm. you get, wow, she was on the fucking tiger juice. She was, <laughs> she was, she was unhinged. Mm -hmm. You get that energy mm -hmm. from, from, from the mugshot. Trump just kind of looks... He looks like he's trying to look hard. Yep. But he's not. I think he does. I, 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 think, I think he's executed his intent. Well, they've, they've sold seven... If it looked shit, they wouldn't sell seven million dollars worth of merchandise. That, he, that photo, you could... It could be... You know that setting on Photo Booth um, where it, like, inver it goes negative. It inverts. Yes. That could be the mugshot. Mm -hmm. They get fucked. We fucked it. The exposure was wrong. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this is what the president's mugshot looks like. <laughs> Terrible photo. Uh -huh. It would still sell millions of... That's true, actually. It's because of what it is. It's because of the moment. There's loads of fake merch as well going around, isn't there? Mm -hmm. there's, there's people who've got fake ones. He's obviously using it to fundraise as well. I mean, it's pretty smart. Mm -hmm. Make yourself into a martyr. But yeah, I, I think he could have done it better. I don't know. Maybe if he'd been pouncing... You know his like pouty face? His like... His like little duck face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been cool. I would have liked that. <laughs> An ironic one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Winking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Rudy Giuliani. You know that thing that people used to do? Put their <laughs> fingers. Stars, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We need one more. What is that? Uh, That's a weird shape. A four point like star. It's a um, compass points. Yeah, nice. Um, anyway. So that's, that probably draws to a close our Horatio slash Daniel Khalif content, unless you've got anything else you wanted to say. Do we call for Free My Man? I think, we've, I think we are on. I think we're pro. I think it's Free My Man. <laughs> I think it's, it's going to come out tomorrow. Like, just the dread. Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> are we willing to hitch our wagon? We just did. To his reputation? Okay, that's fair. Um, <laughs>